Hey, Gemini. I'm here with you on February 2021 the best spiritual way to coaching session. Ooh. Is with mm. more fat. Hold on, y'all. And I'm being okay. clear. Sorry about that. That was an ad from YouTube. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Make sure you guys are checking out, um, if you already don't know what your birth chart is, uh, make sure you guys check that out. If you're interested in purchasing an Upgrade Your Spirituality package or booking a personal coaching session with me, you guys can contact me. My stuff will be down below. Let's start with the Everyday Witch Oracle deck for you guys. I'm going to, my intention is to pull one card, but sometimes spirit has more than one message for you guys. So we'll see. Let's get a uh, energy card for Gemini. Thank you so much. The card that came out for you guys is affirmation for acceptance. I like this. And it's your energy, your air. It's air. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my back. All right, so this is the card. Ignore my broke nail. Hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday I'll get this situated. <laughs> okay, so it says, there is a prayer that says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Sometimes no matter how hard we try, there are circumstances or realities that we can't alter. Illnesses, broken relationships, lost jobs, there are unfortunately plenty of things in okay baby things in our lives we can't fix it can be okay it can be difficult not to keep fighting but sometimes battling the unchangeable just uses up time and energy that would be better used in more productive ways sometimes what we really need is simply the serenity to accept those things we cannot change and the wisdom to know what it is when it is time to do so so it's I'm just picking up on the energy of just releasing control. Because sometimes <clears throat> it doesn't mean that we're like controlling beings like in a negative way. <clears throat> but it's just like um, one of the other signs I, <clears throat> I did, you guys, got this same energy. But it's just like surrendering. Surrendering to the will of the universe. Surrendering to whatever needs to happen. Releasing whoever needs to happen. Um, sometimes, the, the I'll, put, I'll put it like this. On this journey of spirituality, right? On your spiritual journey, it's going to get easier to be able to release situations, relationships, and things like that. But it won't get easy, if that makes sense. It'll get easier, but it will not get easy. You know what I'm saying? But the more that you align, the more you understand. So that's what makes it easier, okay? All right, Gemini. All right, what are the messages for Gemini? Thank you. Let yourself, I was, let says let yourself uh, sparkle and shine. I was going to say let your light shine. That's definitely right, yes. Uh, we have give it to God. Thank you so much. A spiritual path and make time for self-care. So if there's been some things that have been, you know, going back to this, um, this uh, beginning energy, things that are fading, because this, look, I'm looking at this right here. This is catching my eye. It says fate. So things that are fated to leave our lives, to come into our lives. For some of us, putting the energy back into ourselves. If your energy has been exceeded excessively to outside things, outside uh, people, outside uh, situations, whatever it is, this is turning it back towards us, right? Giving situations and circumstances that we may not have clear inner and understanding of and giving it to the divine. Asking for, um, and, and this is also going within to your higher self as well. Tapping into your higher self because that's your that's your inner um, compass, you know. 
Um, your higher self is your inner compass. That's how you're able to navigate through life. That's tapping into that energy is, is aligning with your intuition as well, right? Making time for self-care along with the spiritual path card. So some of you guys have a very distinctive um, spiritual path, spiritual journey that you're currently on. Like there's something very specific that spirit is calling um, for a lot of you guys to do, like step up. Like this is some step up type energy, right? But it's in, it's in, it's imperative that you take care of yourself because it goes hand in hand. It's almost like some of you guys are going to be called to teach people teach people but you being your own um your own what is it what's the word not template like your own got like i my own um you know how you your advertisement this is me i'm advertising myself not like that but showing the world how to do something showing a collective showing people how to do something how to live in existence but i'm showing them based on how i'm being with myself you know what i'm saying that's what that is what are the messages for gemini Ooh, thank you letting go yeah control issues yeah releasing control and giving situations circumstances things that we may not enter and understand how to handle and we're releasing them for some of you guys, this, I'm telling you, this is just you tapping into your higher self. This is the ancestor as well. A guide, a spirit guide, a ascended master. For some of you guys, you needing to call on. Yeah, it's just like, it's control. Like, I picked up on that energy of controlling. Like, controlling circumstances. Controlling, like, for some of you guys, like, feeling certain energy that's coming towards you. And it may, I, I get like this, where it, it kind of throws you off kilter because it it, 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 it gives you all of this kind of like anxiety energy. And then like, boom, I got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, like kind of like that energy. Like I got to do something. I got to control this. I got to control this situation. I got to control whatever this is because I just feel like I don't have any control for some, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no control over whatever this is, whatever this impending change is, whatever this impending, um, impending uh, transformation is. I need to have control. Yeah, here we go. What's this? Let yourself feel all your emotions and be gentle with yourself. So whatever it is, because for some of you, it's literally leaving a lot of things behind, whether it's people, places, circumstances, a way of moving, a way of operating within your business, a way of operating within your home structure, your home conf confine, the way you operate, like everything just transforming. And, and for some, and I mentioned this, I don't know if this was a collective reading I did, or this was um, a specific sign. I lost my thought there fast. I lost my thought that fast, Gemini. Has that ever happened to y'all? Where you guys literally have like something there and then you like lose it that like, damn man, I hate that. It'll probably come back up. Letting your feel you're letting yourself feel all your emotions. Being gentle with yourself, right? Yeah. Not running from whatever a morning. There we go. That's what I was gonna talk about. Morning. I don't remember if I talked about that in a specific reading a sign or just a overall, you know, like collective reading, but um, morning, I think it was for Virgo. Some of you guys can have Virgo in your chart, but like morning, um, not losing somebody in the, like somebody passing away, but when you mourning the old version of you, when you're mourning things that no longer are in your life, when you're mourning, um, relationships that no longer can exist in your world, um, this shit is, could be painful. It could almost be like the same energy of actually somebody physically passing away. It's almost that same energy. So some of you guys, you may realize that in the next few weeks that like a lot of situations, a lot of people who have been in your life, they no longer, they no longer have a place in your life and you can't go back. It's like, you really literally are going to want to go back, but you can't like the, the, the new you it's, it's it, like your ego may be fighting against this, 
But your higher self is not going to let your ego win. Your, your ego win. I mean, your ego win. Your ego can't win against shit no more. You feel me what I'm saying? Like, your ego exists for a reason. But, like, in situations like this, your ego is not going to be able to win. Your higher self is going to... You know what I'm saying? So, it, energetically, if you really want to go... And this could be the, the divine. This could be your ancestors, your ascended masters, whatever. They're not letting you go towards situations, people, relationships that are meant to just transform for some of you guys because some excuse me some of these situations are are going through like a massive yeah oh my goodness some of these situations are going through like massive transformations so like in the midst so like they just say a scenario if there's a relationship doesn't have to be romantic because you say relationship it could be a relationship with siblings with a parent with a child if there are relationships or a relationship in your life that needs to be transformed you are going to be blocked from being in, not cahoots, you're going to be blocked from even communicating or even having to be around, you know, that's that, that's that kind of energy. I hope that makes sense. What are, yeah, you got to release some control issues. Some of you guys has to do with all kind of, this is family, this is um, business, this is uh, romantic, this is everything, like a lot of different situations getting transformed for you guys. Some of you guys, they're they're out, they're fizzling out, they're gone, you, you, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, except that. And then also, it's, if for some, it's, and for a lot of you guys, for most of you guys, it's relationships being transformed. It's that, you know, what are the messages for Gemini? What's the messages for Gemini? What's the message? Thank you. Mm. Uh, somebody could be real. Oh, so I was just getting ready to say this could be a soulmate getting ready to reach out to you guys. Are you going to feel like an energetic, energetic shift in a positive way when it comes to um, a soulmate? Because this is the card. <clears throat> this is the card. This is giving me the energy of a soulmate reaching out. And then as soon as I was getting ready to say this, this card popped out, Gemini. Are you feeling energetically like you're ready to move towards a soulmate? And for some of you guys, this is why... Oh, God. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. For some of you guys, this is why certain situations are being fizzled and transformed and completely wiped out of your life. Because to receive the new to receive the things that are deeply aligned with who you are becoming or who you are now there's the old stuff that is not aligned with you anymore that has to shift out because you can't call in or can't receive this energy without other stuff having to leave gemini that's just what it is that's just that's just what it is gemini that's just what it is okay thank you the fate, something is faded, yeah. Some of you guys, this is like that that infinity, the eight of 17 breaking down to an eight. The eight representing the infinity symbol. Infinity, something never ending because it's not faded to end. It's faded, it's, it's faded, it's faded. Something, this has to do with co-creating something with somebody. This could be in any facet of your life, not just romantic, I'll say it again. In any facet, this could be within business. This could this is a soulmate. Soulmate, this could also be, I'm picking up the energy of a soulmate who is just platonic. Like this, I mean, this could for some of you guys, this is this is that soulmate romantic energy, but for some of you guys, it could be both or either or. Thank you. Something that is not for you anymore. Your fear for some of you guys, the way you used to operate within relationships, within connections, that shit ain't for you no more. Shopping with working by the book, the try. Um, yeah, like spirit for some of you guys is really pulling in this energy of you guys connecting with people that are for you. And for some of you guys, you could really be um, trying to be very resistance to resistance, resistant to this energy of not allowing what's for you. Like not allowing what's for your highest good, for your for your highest whatever. And that's going to always keep a, be a blockage and a stagnant energy. That's why I said for a lot of you guys, this is the divine not allowing this shit happen. Like your higher self, like energies that's because when you hold on to stuff, situations, lifestyle, anything 
that isn't for you anymore, it creates hassles, difficulties, blockages, um, small bits of karma to teach you, karma to teach you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to allow, you have to be guarded among, you have to be guarded against the energies that are not for you. You have to guard yourself. You have to be very conscious and very mindful of energies and situations that try to cling on to you out of their own fear, out of their own, um, or, or whatever it is, for whatever it is. Because it's, it could be somebody's energy that's really tapped in and tuned into your energy that's trying to hold on to something. So it might not even be you for some of y'all. It could be somebody else because somebody is stuck in this. They're stuck between the old and the new. The old, old way of being. And this, for some of you guys, this could be you. You're stuck between the energy of wanting the comfort of the past, but also wanting the, like how that's kind of selfish, Gemini, and wanting the, um, the newness. But you can't get that if you're still holding on to things from the past, baby. It's not going to work. It's not. You're going to get very frustrated. Some of you guys are going to get sick because of that. So you got to let go of it if that doesn't serve you. Sometimes things can feel painful or feel like a punishment that's that's happening. But when you when you really go within and you really align. You see how everything works out for your highest good, Gemini. It's really that energy. You see how everything works out for your highest good, period. All right, what are the messages for Gemini? Oops. Messages for Gemini. Thank you. Messages for Gemini. Messages. Thank you. Ooh. Let's go this over. Messages for Gemini. Messages. Ooh, thank you. Okay. Messages for Gemini. The moon came out kind of crooked. So did the sun card. Masculine, feminine energy. We have Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, very stable. Like for some of you guys, even mastering your um, your feminine energies, like mastering, like there's a balance, like not mastering, but like a balance within your feminine energies, whether you're a masculine or a, um, or a feminine, it doesn't matter. Also more stable, like when you're within your financial, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your inner stability, when it comes to just all facets of your life, that's what you're moving towards. Uh, Gemini, I was gonna say Capricorn. Clarify this page. Ooh, I, I squared you. Clarify this page of cups, please. Page of cups. Mm -mm. Page of cups, please. Why do my cards keep doing it? Page of cups. Page of Cups. Thank you. Page of Cups. Tower moment. Tower card. Page of Cups. Claire, give me another clarify for this Page of Cups and Tower card. Oh, yeah. I got to trust myself, y'all. I got a bad. This, now, this is y'all energy. The Lovers is Gemini energy. But I was going to say... Um, it's this energy of a realization that creates a tower moment when it comes to either an offer that somebody wanted to come to you or you with, or you wanting to go towards somebody with a, with a romantic offer. And this has to do with a soulmate connection, a very powerful, strong, very loving, caring uh, soulmate uh, connection. But it was like somebody was coming with... It's almost this energy of not quite yet. Like somebody's guides, the divine, their higher self, not allowing somebody to come towards you or you, however this goes, because the offer is not steady. Like somebody, this, in other, I'm trying to put in words. This offer would have been okay if this was you prior to your ascension, 
prior to you going through everything you've been through. You know what I'm saying, Gemini? Like for those who've really been tending to themselves and working on themselves, this would have been accepted. But because it's not like then something was halted. Oh, I thought that was another card. Something wasn't allowed. But the, the, the lover's card is upright. So this is not giving me the energy of something just collapsing or flatlining. It's giving me more of the energy of not quite yet, Gemini. Or not quite yet, whatever other sign this is involved in the situation. Not yet. By the book. Like something needs to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, mm, like I was saying, like the energy of something like someone has to be aligned for you. They can't come crumbing your ass. The Page of Cups, when it comes to romance, is that energy of uh, crumbing. Giving you just enough to hold on to. Instead of giving you the full shebang. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's the King of Cups? You know what I'm saying? No, the, the, we can't get the Page of Cups. You know, and this could even be some lightweight um, humor uh, type of communication that could have been blocked. Like, from, like, somebody, um, like somebody wanting to say something or somebody almost saying something. In a joking way to lighten the mood as opposed to them just coming in a mature way. So that is wasn't allowed. Clarify this ten of wands. Somebody could be stressed because of this. Clarify this ten of wands, please. Thank you. The four of swords. Yeah, somebody being burdened and it's just too much or they're taking a break. They have to go within. For some of you guys, this energy, like some, some of y'all energy is very powerful. I was going to say strong, but powerful is a much better word, Gemini. Powerful. Some of you guys got some powerful ass energy because it's like your energy is not allowing this, didn't allow this situation. Because now, motherfucker, I'm, I'm, I'm the emperor, whether you are a masculine or a feminine, watch me. So if you're the masculine, like my, I'm an emperor. And if you are femi feminine, feminine, you divine feminine, oh, I'm an empress. So you can't come. With this little crummy ass shit. Oh baby. No you cannot. And you will not. That's that energy. No you won't. So there you. Like I said. Somebody could be feeling burdened because of this. Because they. They're. Somebody. Okay. Somebody is just. Not. For, for lack of better words. Woke. And so. All they know is that they can't come towards you. They can't do something, right? They don't know why. They they just confused. They don't know if it, they don't know. They just really don't know. And it's like they know, but they don't know. They don't know. Like they they know, but they don't know. You know what I'm saying, Gemini? And because of this, they are having to go within. They're having to take a break. They're having to rest. And this could be you. You needing to take a rest or just like because something is like this. This ten of wands energy. It's causing too much. And because something is faded, like there is something that's faded for some of you guys, this could be a connection that is definitely meant for you. This could be a marriage in the future. Whatever this is, it's faded for you. But if it ain't right and this person comes prematurely or this situation, it could be anything. And or it could be a business or anything. And it doesn't and, and it, it doesn't come in the right energy and it comes prematurely, then it's gonna it's What's faded for you is going to flee. And that's not going to happen. You know, that can't happen. Clarify this chariot card. Ooh, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio. Cancer, Leo, Scorpio. Clarify this chariot card. Chariot, the two of pentacles and the higher fence. Somebody being balanced. Really working on the inner stability. Leveling up spiritually, right? Leveling up spiritually in a major, beautiful way. And they're charged up and they're moving towards their happiness, their joy, their balance, their, their masculine and their feminine energy. Two people could be. A Leo and Scorpio and a Cancer. Clarify this uh, the Sun card. Clarify this Sun card. Thank you. The Sun card, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Another Leo card. Oh, what's this? Clarify this moon card, please. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Wands. Joy, happiness. 
somebody working on their okay so one way i'm picking this up somebody really going really hard going full throttle on their happiness on their joy on whatever brings them happiness whatever bring them brings them joy there and this could be a business this could be their self-worth this could be self-love this could be all about their self gemini even though there may be someone in particular or something that is hiding in the abyss of their subconscious or the back of their mind that has some type of issue with them or or there this could be you this could be your energy this is a lot of leo energy i'm gonna be honest with you guys i see a lot of leo energy i feel it rather it's also could be illuminating with the sun card and the moon card right next to each other the sun representing the masculine energy and the moon representing the feminine energy the aspects of self which really needs to be worked on and tuned intended to him you know what i'm saying that energy as well so with the masculine energy the masculine is like you know you could look at it like the energy of the masculine is supposed to be the provider you know and sometimes masculine energies if they are not making receiving bringing in a certain amount you know coins then they feel less of and this creates like this type of five of swords energy internally give me another clarify for this moon card please thank you the moon card queen of pentacles and the high priestess three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck what's this moon card and nine of wands and the queen of pentacles Trusting your intuition, your feminine energy is what brings that, allows that, increases that in intuitive. I don't know if this may fit for any of you guys, but like, you know, if this, if you're in a, in a situation or somebody's made you feel like this in your past, like you should make more money than your, ugh, than your significant other or your romantic counterpart. I don't know. That may not be for all of y'all. Loosening the grips as well. I'm hearing moon. Uh, uh, loosening the grips when it comes to your, your feminine energy. Um, uh, Gemini. Like the nine of wands upright can be a little stubborn. And that's what brings on that nine, that ten of wands energy. The ten of wands is, um, for some of you guys, it could be like resistance that makes you feel overwhelmed. When you're resisting and you're not aligned and you're not completely flowing, then this can bring this energy on because you're in this upright. But this up, upside down, this is the opposite of that energy. You know what I'm saying? So the feminine energy is, some of you guys learning or understanding now, you're finally getting it that you not being so stubborn or not being resistant to transformation and change puts you here the queen of pentacles in the high priestess balance stability financial increase gain intuitive energy walking in your divine light powerful ass energy period okay let's get one card for advice please one card of advice for Gemini. I right, just come, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is here, counterpart energy, but it came out kind of upside down, and it kind of it, it's like laying across your energy, the Gemini energy, which is the Lovers card, which is my soulmate card. As a reader, that's how I read that card. Give me another card for advice, please. Yeah, working on your, like, concentrating on um, focusing, putting the intention behind, putting the energy, putting the faith without works is dead. You know, remember that, uh, Gemini. Putting whatever it is you need to put into your endeavors, your business, your home, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
Because the, when you do that in a consistent manner, Gemini, you will see a heavy, very heavy influx of your finances increasing. Even though this turns to the side with the Nine of Pentacles, it's, and also, um, I'm going to put it up right. I'm also uh, read it as um, inner balance, inner inner self, self constantly keep pruning and working on yourself. Never get comfortable with just where you're at, okay? All right, <clears throat> let's get a few love cards and then we are done, July. I don't know what I'm going to name this. Okay. All right. You'll see like you guys will feel so empowered when you release and relinquish that control. Like Gemini. I can relate because I have Gemini and Venus and yeah. Uh, I, uh -huh. Can I get a few cards for Gemini? A few cards. Thank you. Okay, time's been going. Okay, so we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Your current circumstance, wherever you're going through, I mean, unless it's just really, really tragic or whatever, but do not let it block the energy of joy from really aligning with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll see. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. This definitely has to do with relationships, love, soulmate energy. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you, but you have to follow it with faith, Gemini, okay? Follow with faith in the energy of your balancing of your heart as well. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. The heart is the gateway to the soul, Gemini. Okay, so this is the end of your reading. I love you guys so very much. Peace. Take care.